All right, Aaron, uh, I've got the uh, boiler all steamed up here and the engine's ready to go with the alternator on it. I got the water pump here connected and I'll just uh, show you what I got here. It's a simple on off switch. I'm going to turn it on now. And if there's any air in this line, you know, in the incoming line or any place, you just turn on this valve right here and bleed the air out. That's your airlock valve. Pop off valve is set at 150 pounds. And I'm sure that it's going in. Water's going down in the bucket. It goes in slow, but it does that you don't want to put too much in at a time. It kills the steam. And I just uh, building, you know, a normal fire like a campfire would be. Just throwing the logs in. I just using some old fence posts today. But cordwood is better because it's better wood. Simple. Ash pan is right here. Tricox, they're old antique ones. I've got them tightened down pretty tight. They're not really used much at all, so they're just for looks. Water sight glass is here. I'm going to keep it up about halfway on the water sight glass. I think I started out down there and uh, testing the pump. There's a blower valve right here. You can probably hear it. When I put new wood in, I sometimes turn that on for a little while. It uses steam, so you have to steam. You have to have steam steamed up to be able to use it properly. The gauge is a real nice gauge. The whistle is right here. I'll blow it, so you might want to turn down your volume. Okay, so then the engine. The oiler's right here. I only open these valves about an eighth of a turn. That's all the steam it needs. This is the exhaust. Right here you want to eventually run that exhaust up the stack. So it's piped over and goes up inside the stack here and up if you want to increase the draft when the engine is running. And also on the oiler here, this is uh, the drain on the oiler. You don't want to open this up when steam pressure is on it's a drain that'll it'll fill up with water and then you'll uh, need to put more oil in just put the oil in here steam oil of course and I've got it connected to a battery now that battery may not be uh, needing a charge so I don't know how much uh, it'll it'll charge right now these are the petcocks Blow down valves for the engine in case there's water inside the cylinder. And I'm just using a steam hose, which I recommended. Get a steam hose and cut it to the length you need and just move the clamps to where you need them. And I'll turn on the steam. Now I have an RPM gauge. Yeah. So the engine is running right now at about uh, one, two and a quarter, about 225 RPM. And the alternator. is running at about 1200 RPM. So that alternator should be operating now. And you always want to keep this cord away from the firebox down here. Because this gets really hot and it'll melt the cord. I've already had it happen once on another unit. And it just draws out of a bucket. This is your fill and drain. 
It just clips on. Every week or so, you might want to blow down the, the flag or anything that's in the in the bottom of the boiler. It's a beautiful engine. It runs really smooth. So it's drawing oil now from the oiler. You can see it dripping in there. Fill that with oil before I ship it as well. And uh, that's about where the engine will run, depending on how hot your fire is and how cold and warm it is outside. And like I say, this is the fill and drain. When it's, all drain, when it's all cooled down, you can drain the boiler if you want there. Or you just clip a hose on it. That engine's running beautiful. Well, that's about it. You can, I mean, I'll just get this valve right here that goes with it. I always kind of preheat the cylinder with a little bit of steam before you start running it. And you want to have these valves open occasionally in case there's water inside the cylinder. Really nice. Real smooth. And that's about maybe the 20th engine of that type I've built. And this has a weld right here on that ball, but it uh, does not leak at all. It works just fine. I didn't weld it. Somebody else did. And like I say, that steam coming out of there is really valuable when it comes to running it up the stack and creating a draft. Really nice. I will remove this valve here because the whistle is not leaking. And I'll remove this valve here on the valve. 